one in Salmander. Um, so I finally um, got over my chickenness of making a Tilda doll. Um, I ordered some fabrics from Tracy's shop from Art Attack. And she has several of the Tanya Whalen fabrics right now. And she has them in sets of three. And this is one of them. You get a blue one, a green one, and a pink one. So uh, let me show you. So, so basically for like... Um, I used, where's my, okay, I used um, this fabric, this is what's left of this fabric, and it looks like this, <laughs> the, because they're in fat quarters, so this is the part of the dress right here where I folded it over, I wanted to get this image right in the center of it, it's my first total, so I figured I'd try it. This is the book I used, the reason I used this one is these have, this one is Tilda's Christmas Idea. I made, blah, 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 blah. where is it, right here, I made this tilde, and this one, the funny thing is, I actually printed, this one has, comes with the back, it has these uh, printouts that you can use, I actually printed them out, but I had, didn't use them for this project, so this is the tilde that I used, the reason why I wanted to use this one, and Tracy Labs, hey Tracy, <laughs> because this one has a nose. This is one of the older books, and these have noses, whereas opposed to the other ones are just the little oval shaped. And it has this little simple dress, which I figured for my first um, doll this would be simple to make. And uh, so yeah, so those are the instructions. It even has the option to do the wings. I didn't put the wings on her because I wasn't sure. Um, I have I actually have these crowns. And I have one on here temporarily on mine, but um, I will, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure, I wasn't sure if I wanted it on there just yet. But, uh, so yeah, so that's the book. Oh, they also have another girl in here. And these are called the Pixies, where they, it's essentially the same body and everything, but the head, they have these, um, these cones, like um, the Santa Clauses in these books right here, which are super, super cute. So that's the one I use, and I wanted to, uh, uh, like a regular Tilda. Um not anything specifically holiday so let me oh and I use this fabric and this skin fabric is from Joann's it's um, I don't even remember the color of this but it's in the quilting section so you guys check that out so let me show you what, and no I'll have pictures in the back without further ado here is my tilde and like I said I have the crown on here with the glue dot just to see kinda how it looks at first so here you can see the skin and here's a little cute little nose and since I didn't have any, pa I can't find my pastels, nor do I have makeup, I'm not that kind of guy, um, I used colored pencil to give her a little bit of a blush. I didn't put too much, I didn't want her to look like a streetwalker, we're not re remaking a uh, pretty woman, we're, you know, making a tilde. So, and here's the little dress, now if you, and if you notice, the dress is a little different, because, different, um, from the one from the pattern, because if you see the pattern, it is just gathered around the neck and on the arms, and then it just flows. And this one has a little ribbon right there. Now, the only thing is, when I did mine, I might have done it wrong, which, you know, wouldn't surprise me, since it's like my third sewing project. It looked like a moo moo. <laughs> it looked like a big moo moo. So, um, I kind of improvised. I took a cue on the collar and the arms, and I did the little running stitch, and you can, I just kind of wanted to have it all poofy. I gave her an empire waist because I, and so all I did was just, I did a little running stitch just like I did the arms and the neck as it instructs you to give her, give her a waist because it looked like a moo moo. And here's the print, here's a beautiful print and it just shows on the entire skirt and here is the back. So, and to cover my stitch, I went ahead and I used a um, velvet ribbon. I didn't have just velvet ribbon, I had this one from, this one's from Hobby Lobby and um, it has, let me pull it out, it has velvet in the center and then these satin or little um, fabric uh, ruffles. So I took off the ruffles because I first tried it and it looked a little bit too much and I wanted this one to be simple, you know, because I do simple projects <laughs> and <laughs> I know, right? Um, so yeah, so I stitched the whole thing and here are the legs. The funny thing is when I first did the legs, I thought they were quick, they were one was shorter than the other. And here is my sad sewing skills. I actually, instead of sewing it by hand, I just went through the machine. Give it a whirl. The point is it works. It's covered up and nobody needs to know except for whoever gets to see this video. And um, so yeah, so she has the little poofy sleeves and 
the little since I I did the little stitch right here, um, the Empire waist. Now this uh, velvet ribbon I actually applied with um, Fabri Tac. I didn't want to use hot glue because then it would you know after a while it would fall off or whatnot. But there she is. You know she's blowing kisses. Um, there she is with a little nose and everything. So I used oh and so here's the the Tilda crowns. Like I said, it's just being held on by a glue dot. I used um I got them off of is it Etsy or eBay? One of the two. But there was a seller and um they were selling by four, so I went ahead and got it. Um so yeah, so here you can see the little blush a little bit. So the way I did the hair, I just followed a tutorial online. I looked at the pictures and then we looked for a video where you put all the pins. She looked like she had a pin mohawk. And then you just, you know, go back and forth. And then I stitched it. This is, this is, oh, and by the way, this is real Tilda hair. And I have this um, embroidery yarn that looks almost identical color, which is what I used to sew it in when you tack it in there. And as you can see now on the back, um, I didn't like... All of the Tilda dolls have the basically the hair is, are the two buns or the you know little loops or the little puffs sticking out. So I wanted something different. I wanted her to be able to wear her hair up or her hair down if she wanted to. Um, so I just went ahead and gathered this around my hand and then um, stitched it back here and then cut the because it was loops and then cut this so then it was open. So. Um, in the back, I just made the the cut the hair like um, the way they show you, where you do the top the the head first, and um, and this is actually put together. This isn't one piece right here. This hair this this weave isn't one whole thing. Okay, um, it I did the head first, where like I said, you wrap it around and then you stitch all the way down to to hold it down, and then this I had in a little loop and I just. I kept the thread of embroidery yarn out, so um, so when I had this, I just looped it around and I did it a couple of times to hold it in there, so you know, to you know, pull her hair out. And then I went ahead and I used this. This is um, some Martha Stewart ribbon I've had for like ever, but it's one of the thinnest ones. It looked very sophisticated, not so you know bright, whatever that I could find. So I made a little bow, and. Um, these are little millinery flowers that I got from Tracy's shop as well. So I cut three of them off and then I glued them once again with um, fabric tack. But yeah, and look, she can have long hair and on oh, and here's the back. So for you sewers, you know, you guys can you let me know how bad I did. Um, and then I did, oh, that's a thread. I did, I did just the hem. I was going to do ruffles, but I'm like, you know what? I want it to be simple. It's going to be my first one. I didn't want to get too overwhelmed. And just like the, per the instructions, I went ahead and I painted on the eyes with pins. It was easier that way. But I totally, 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 excuse me, you guys. I'm so sorry. I actually got off of work today. I started this doll yesterday, and now I'm on Graveyard, so it's, like, you know, really wonky and weird. So, anywho. But, yeah, but that's my doll. I'm trying to think if I missed anything. And I'll show pictures. Um, I took pictures. I gave her a little accessory. And it's a mason jar. This is actually a Christmas light cover where you just put the Christmas light through there and it shines through. Oh my gosh, they're freaking gorgeous. We got them last year. And um, for the Christmas tree, totally, totally cool. And it actually, it's beautiful. I was going to make a little snow globe, but the little opening kind of prevented me from doing that. And I needed a little tiny, tiny critter or a tree. I wasn't sure where to put, but I did this one. If anything, I can always take the stuff out and put um, snow and then a little tree in here. So, but yeah. And then she'll just be, you know, holding on to her mason jars. Because just like her creator, me, I like mason jars. So, yeah. And, like I said, I don't know if this seller says has any more. I actually, I'm not even going to put the, it's on Etsy, I think, or eBay. Because I took the last two, excuse me. Um, so, yeah. So, that was my first Tilla doll. Oh, and so the hair, yeah. So, the hair, I wanted a different hairstyle. So, I, you know, hooked my girl up with a different hairstyle, a little with her hair in a little ponytail. And that way it could be down or to the side. And I think this is really cute. Where it's just to the side. So yeah. So I'd like to think I did pretty well. <laughs> I'm probably going to get laughed at. I'm probably going to get a bunch of thumbs down. Like, um, you totally botched that poor, um, that poor doll up. She needs a facelift now. So yeah. But that is um, the uh, my little Tilda doll. I'm totally excited. I'm totally proud of myself. Um, I guess I'll have pictures after this. 
And you guys go ahead and pick up your fabrics. Um, these are the fabrics, and you guys said you get three fat quarters. I didn't even use a full one, so you get to you can do a lot. And the fat quarters uh, for the set are like ten dollars on Art Attack. And when I went about the skin fabric, I only bought half a yard. Trust me, you will not use that much. And um, and that was like two fifty. So there you go. So you can make the expensive doll. You can make them holiday themed or whatever. So you can give them out as gifts. And um, but but yeah. So. Once I did my first one, my next one hopefully will be easier, and now I have to order more Tilda hair. <laughs> I need more, I need more Tilda hair. So, so yeah, so hope you like it, you guys. Let me know what you think. I am super, super jazzed. I like sewing a lot more than I thought I would, and, um, yeah, because it's pretty freaking cool. Let me just go over here. That is, sorry, you guys, that is my, um, the arm that uh, holds my phone to record. So, yeah. So hope you like it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, everyone.